coming to you with a love bomb. So thank you for opening it. I wanted to talk a little bit about projection. Sometimes we think we see everything that's going on on the surface. However, we have an unconscious, all of us. We have a shadow. We have parts of ourselves that we are unaware of. And what's happening psychologically and spiritually when we project onto other people or them onto us is an operation that we don't know is occurring when it's occurring. So you can think of projection like a psychological slingshot of something about you, something that you're feeling or experiencing that you don't want to see or don't want to own consciously. It's like a, a disowned disavowed part of yourself. We all have these things, things about us that we're just not, we're just not congruent with. Maybe the fact that we are insecure or are judgmental or are envious of something. If we don't want to be able to consciously recognize that in ourselves, maybe we don't feel like we have the resources to, to manage it or to navigate it in a way that would be of service. What happens is we repress that, that quality about us or that state in us and we project it, we slingshot it over to somebody else. And then in our conscious experience, we see it in them. And we tend to judge it and then negatively evaluate it about them, maybe even garner other people's support in our perspective of the other person and what it is that they're doing. This could be anyone from a stranger to a celebrity to a partner uh, to a coworker or a child. So it's important to understand the operation of projection as it applies to when people are projecting onto you. Lots of people have feelings about you, um, the way that you're treating them, responding to them, reacting to them. Lots of people, because it's an operation of being human, um, it's just part of the human experience, are going to project onto you whatever they need to see in you because they aren't available to see it in themselves. So this gets tricky, right, to navigate because sometimes people are holding up a mirror and reflecting something to you and telling you something that's true about you. And we wanna also take responsibility for what we're offering to situations. And very often people are projecting onto you what they need to see in you because they aren't able, again, to, to own it within themselves and to work with it within themselves. That's why it's so important to harness as much self-trust as you can so that when you're getting feedback about you in nonverbal ways or verbal feedback, when things are coming at you, you're able to sit with and decipher and have wisdom about what does my body say is this true about me? How am I experiencing myself? Do other people have similar reactions or responses to me? Or could this be something this person's not willing to see about them? This is especially true when people are giving you advice um, or just offering unsolicited opinion about choices or decisions you need to make. An act of self-love is to trust yourself. And a way to build self-trust is through integrity, through acting, speaking, thinking, feeling, in alignment with your values. And when you're in that place that's self-soothed, that's in equilibrium, that you can access a deep breath, that you feel at peace with you, when people are projecting onto you, it's so much easier and simpler to just take off of the bib that they've puked on, remove it, and feel clean and confident and secure and soothed with who you are and who you're being. That's how projection works. I hope this has been helpful to you in whatever way. Feel free to share it. And thanks for joining me for this love bomb. Take sweet care of you.